So I'm in the mood for a vegan mac and cheese, but vegan mac and cheese tends to have a lot of carbs and not a whole lot of fiber. This one's 49 grams of carbohydrates per serving with only two grams of fiber, leaving you 47 net carbs. Now, why am I talking about carbs? Because I'm currently limiting my carbs. And why am I talking about vegan mac and cheese? Because I eat plant-based and lactose intolerant, so I can't even eat regular cheese if I wanted to anyway, which I don't, it's kind of gross to me. Now, I'm not saying carbs are bad. There's nothing wrong with carbohydrates. It's, it's a fuel, it's, a, it's an energy source. Having too much of it though, can lead to some problems. So if I wanna make a vegan mac and cheese that is low in carb, high in protein, how am I gonna do that using regular pasta? I wanna show a few quick tips to turn this into a resistive starch, which means those starches just pass right through you. In turns, if I understand the science, lowering the carbohydrates just by a little bit. It's not like a, a fix, but it lowers it enough. And we're gonna make a really great mac and cheese sauce, giving us a cold mac and cheese, which is awesome. So stick with me, this is really good. First, let's boil up some pasta. First, we're gonna change the way we boil this pasta to help release some of these starches right off the bat. I'm gonna be making two servings of this mac and cheese. So we're gonna start with four cups of water in a small saucepan. Then to make the water more alkaline, I'm gonna raise the pH. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of baking soda. This will swell the starches in the pasta and make it a springier, chewier macaroni in the end, making it easier to wash away some of that starch. Now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of salt, bring it to a boil, and we're gonna add a cup of macaroni, which is two servings. Now, the first two minutes here are fairly important. The baking soda is going to react and gas off, causing a lot of foam, so you're going to want to watch that and take it off the heat if it starts to boil over. But then you're also going to want to stir for those first two minutes, because this is where the starches are the most reactive. Now that's with any pasta. The first two minutes, the starches are bursting and they're releasing. That's when pasta tends to stick together. Now after five minutes, this macaroni is done boiling. You can see it's much yellower in color than it normally would be, and it almost looks like it's not cooked all the way through. But trust me, it is. That's the baking soda. Now we're just going to strain it, rinse it under cold water until the macaroni is cold and the water is running very clear. Then we're going to toss it into a container and then into the fridge for it to cool down for at least an hour. Longer, the better. But that's plenty of time for today's sponsor. So I'm still getting a load of comments from people noticing how much weight I've lost, around 100 pounds. And that's all thanks to today's sponsor, Noom Weight. Noom Weight is a proven long-term solution to weight management that only takes a few minutes a day. When people ask me how I lost weight, I always start by saying Noom. But I always tell people there's a lot of little changes over time. It just wasn't one specific thing or like one trick. That's what everybody's looking for. I had to change my mindset about my health, what I eat, and how much I move. Since starting Noom, I have never felt better. Noom promotes sustainable results by using gold standard psychological methodologies. It is a different approach to weight management with support of individual and or group coaches, which you can choose if that works for you, along with lessons or by being uplifted by other communities members. With Noom, you will always find ways to feel supported for the ups and downs of your health journey. And all foods are welcome on Noom. So gang, it's a new year which deserves a new you. Click the link in the description to take a free Noom evaluation and redeem your free 14-day trial. Noom, thanks for sponsoring today's video and for seriously changing my life. Okay, we're back. Let's make our cheese sauce. It's gonna be really easy. This whole thing is easy. First, we need a food processor and a block of silken tofu. I'm using a 16 ounce block, which has five carbs in the entire block and 20 grams of protein. We're gonna use about four fifths of this, but I'm gonna toss the whole thing into the food processor along with a half cup of nutritional yeast, which is a whopping 12.2 grams of protein. There are 10 grams of carbs, but six and a half grams of dietary fiber, leaving you with 3.5 grams of net carbs. Now we're gonna add a teaspoon of lactic acid, which will help combat the baking soda flavor left on the macaroni, but also give the cheese sauce a nice cheesy tang. If you don't have this, you could use a tablespoon of any other acid, like a lemon or apple cider vinegar. Now I always have to mention this, lactic acid is just named lactic because of the person who discovered it. Lactic acid is produced by almost anything from Fermented. This is not lactose. This is not milk. There's no dairy in this. This is made from fermenting beets. Now, I'm just going to give this a pinch of salt, a little squeeze of olive oil, and then we're just going to chop up two cloves of garlic and add those in, then process. You can taste it at this point and see if you have a nice cheesy base flavor. If not, you can add a little more nutritional yeast or a little bit more acid. Now, to add that mac and cheese sauce taste, I'm going to add in a 
bit of white pepper, mustard powder, and turmeric. And we're just gonna pulse again for just a moment to mix that up. At this point, the sauce is done. Now I'm gonna pull out our cold macaroni, and you can see there wasn't enough starch left for this to stick together into one big giant clump, which is what would normally happen with macaroni. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than it would have been. Now let's add in most of the cheese sauce, give it a stir, and I'm gonna toss these into some bowls. We're gonna break this up into two servings. I'm gonna add a bit of black pepper, a little smoked paprika, and this looks awesome. But let's see what Monica has to say. Baby, cold, low carb, high protein, mac and cheese. That's awesome. It good looks really good. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, I added some extra seasonings to it just because it reminded me of like a macaroni okay. salad, but, and right. it is gonna be cold. So there's gonna Here be go. some things. Let's just see what you say. Okay, cheers. Mm, well, it's good regardless of it being cold. It's just like a creamy, a light and creamy sauce. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's a creamy mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, go ahead. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Like, it's a creamy mac and cheese. It tastes like a light mac and cheese. It's nice. How was the macaroni? Mm. Well, the macaroni, Macaroni is great. I mean, I know you said it was low carb, but it tastes like regular macaroni. Is this a special macaroni? No, it's 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 lower carb. I made it a resistant starch by cooling it. We cool a macaroni or a pasta starch to the Well, that's cool. Do you have the cheesy mm -hmm. taste? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. That's what I was yeah. saying. It's like a creamy cheese with a slight, um, I guess, acid or vinegary taste. I think, um, but barely. I was trying to combat the baking soda in the pasta by adding. Mm. acid to neutralize it. I like it. Either way, this is like a unique mac mm -hmm. and cheese. I think it's gonna satisfy that craving. You could warm it up mm -hmm. and still keep it a resistant starch, but you would wanna make sure that you keep it below like 140 degrees maybe. I'll put the put the actual number here on the screen. Well, I like how light the sauce is because it's cold. Like I mm -hmm. wouldn't want like a thick, I would only really want like a thick mac and cheese if it's a hot mm -hmm. kind of creamy, cheesy mac and cheese, but this is like a light cheese cream sauce. This was a good test for me because I really did want like a good mac and cheese and I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit better for me so I can keep my starches, my carbohydrates down a bit. And this is a big portion. <laughs> yeah. But I'm pretty excited about this. Mm -hmm. This is delicious, I yeah. love this. And um, anybody that does know like any of the science behind any of this, you know, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear what you think. Any changes that can be made, any tweaks or anything. But I think this came out great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is delicious. Yeah, boom. Well, this is lunch, Yay. baby. Awesome. Yeah.